So well, I mean, he got backup now. He ain't by himself. I mean, I don't think. No. He rolling by himself. Not. I wouldn't. Not by himself. Not by himself. By himself. No. He might not have his usual security team, but he ain't by himself. No. Uh. Uh-uh. No. Nah. Cause that's probably some of the people that came over there and started pulling folk off. Definitely, because they went through how many folks? A crowd of folks, right? Mm-hmm. And none of them do nothing. They, well, they had probably to come was, from they probably behind the shot. crowd. They probably was. They probably wasn't thinking, man. They were like, I ain't getting in that. Half of them in shock doing this, right? Yeah, right. You can be in shock and have your muscles reflect. Oh man! Oh man! This is terrifying. I can't. I can't watch this. Yeah, man. I can't. I can't watch this. Let me zoom in. <laughs> like, come on, man. I, I got come you. Come on now. You ain't got to tell me, man. I'm there when the shit starts. Some started. people be. Some people just don't need to be outside. Okay, that's just that's just what it is. Cam Newton got put in a crazy situation immediately. So, but see, he. Knew about this kind of stuff because, like he's, they say he's had this kind of occurrence. Not maybe this bad, but he's had people t- talking trash to him and coming up in his face, you know, and trying to distance. They and say stuff Von like. Miller, your daddy. I said that's that was, yeah. that's messed up. They was the boy is crazy. Let's 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 hear him talk about that. Yeah. And it's just not called for. And on top of that, it's it's echoing something that's been permeating for years. Black people. Mm -hmm. Why why I got to be at a black event? You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I could easily say, damn, like, I can play the victim. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hold myself to that same standard, bro. To say, like, look, everywhere that I go, people talk. People say, yo, why you didn't jump on the fumble? Hey, yo, Von Miller, your daddy. Hey, yo, like, Mac Jones took your job. Hey, yo, Brock Parity is better than you. Hey, yo, like, she, you a free agent. That's, that's normal. I'm used to playing in front of 100,000 people mm-hmm. and millions watching. And I let one person dictate how I feel? No, I can't do that. But I did that day. So, yeah. Even with that, so talking to KO, Kendall, my girl, mm-hmm. when she talked to me, it's like, baby, it's, I'm glad you're safe first, but are you looking at it through the lens of what if one of your hands was free? What if you did punch him? What if you did throw him over the balcony? What if they would have broke your jaw? What if they would have knocked you in a coma? These are things that, yeah, we laugh about. These are things that, yo, like, yeah, cam hat stayed on. Yeah, some Mashika plug. Yeah, go buy a Mashika hat. Yeah. But I'm lucky to have this opportunity to be standing as a witness to say, don't be like me. Be better than me. And I could easily try to advise a kid like, no, bro, don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. But until you're in that position and somebody talking shit to you, It's hard, it's tough, but heavy is the crown. Too much is given, much is required. You can't sit up there and say, oh, I want to be a five-star recruit, and people can't talk to me. It it, it, it just doesn't work like that. It don't work like that. You see what I'm saying? So what I learned from this is this. I was uh, I was gonna do a funky Friday. I wanted to, you know, have somebody. I wanted to talk to them, but I I think it's better served by myself. Cause it could have really been something that we all didn't want to see happen. Yeah, I apologize, Steph. I apologize, TJ. And I see what y'all are doing. I see. And I could call it what it was. It was some words that were said, and, and, and I think the words triggered them, and it was words that triggered me. So with that, I know what they do for the kids. 
I know their level of commitment to impacting or using their platform for a positive way in the community. Anybody who takes the time to caters, to, to be a service to somebody else, my hat goes off to them. And I know what it's like. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of energy that goes in. It's a lot of effort that goes into making these kids' lives extremely easy. And I don't want these kids, no matter what team you play for, doesn't matter what sport you play, it could be AAU basketball, it could be football, to take this opportunity for granted because there are learning tools that could be had in this, in this situation. So, so, Cam, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of reports, a lot of people had a lot to say, mm -hmm. you know, like Cam should stop. He shouldn't be, you know, doing any more 707. So my question is, like, are you still going to be committed to 707 and youth sports? Absolutely. This is something that I've been doing going on 13, 14 years, and I enjoy this. This is my way of giving back. Um, mm -hmm. Why? Because the kids find it amusing and appeasing and wowing to say, man, I played for Cam Newton, or I played with Cam Newton's team, or we played against Cam Newton. But that same energy is reciprocated for me to say, bro, I see so much of me and them mm -hmm. hungry, desiring to say, like, man, I, I can – this football can take me a lot of places just like it took me a lot of places. And being around the kids on the buses, being around the kids at the hotels, the Airbnbs, eating the same food that they eat, just being around, that's what I enjoy most. It's not even the football side of, of it. It's the, it's the, hey, coach, hey, what's the first thing you got? Co Those conversations. Hey, coach, man, let me talk to you, man. Like, I got a girlfriend, coach. Like, yeah. she trying to go to college with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are, the, those are the reasons why I'm involved heavily in this space. Because, like I always tell kids, if you no longer can play this game, make it be because of the Cam Newton way. Mm -hmm. Somebody think that I cannot play at the level that is, is subjective. Yeah. It's, it's not doing dumb shit that I did this past week. Or is dumb shit being involved in the things that happened this past week. Mm -hmm. So that's why I cannot stop, Pitt. Yeah. I have to give my time and I have to empower and I have to reach back and bring somebody along and say, dog, it ain't worth it. And now, more than ever, I can prove to them and show them like, bro, that's some dumb ass shit that I did. Wasn't saying nothing, didn't have anything to say. Okay, now. The fact that he just explained that last part, he finally said what I was waiting for him to come around and tell everybody that's been asking him the same questions and saying the same things over and over and over again, just like Shannon Sharp. Why? But he continued to do it. And he says, once again, why? He will do it because it is, he feels like it's his responsibility in himself to help bring someone along and bring someone through that pathway that of positivity, really, and not the negative light that could lead somewhere else. A lot of people, kids, really, black kids, need that football like he said, to get them to a lot of different places? Well, um, parents, I'll say this. What my man said is true. But when you're taking your kids, make sure you take them and you watch them. Because you don't know. A lot of people be sneaking. That's all I know. So... <laughs> he ain't lying, man. He's not lying. He's not I mean, lying. you see, they used to say old Chester the molester <laughs> oh, in a in a in a trench coat. But that ain't how he looks sometimes. No, he ain't lying. Shit. He he may have a, a comb over with a let bowling ask, shirt. Let me ask you a question. Did you see um, did you uh, like, comment and subscribe to the channel, guys? 
Um, yeah, yeah. Like, what is you doing? Getting ready to eat something. What? We on camera. Why? Oh, yeah, I can't do that. That's not how that works. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not if you're going to be talking. I wasn't saying that. You didn't no, come I mean, to like mic on stream time. Yeah. For what? Right. They be talking about stuff that you ain't going to have. But see this do. format right here, because I'm getting away from more. This is how I think we should do it. Like, even if we got two. Because when you put them side by side and you edit it, it doesn't have a good look because it's too much stuff. Keep it simple. You know, you can't can't give them too much because if you do, that's why I stop all that other stuff from editing. You know, where you flying stuff in and out. Yeah, I think you were just confusing folks. It did. It was it just confused. like I had too much shit in there. Yeah, I had spaceships coming through and helicopters. All kind of crazy stuff. Well, okay. Bombs going off. <laughs> stuff shooting across. You be sitting there all of a sudden. So you like, what was that? And I had it just enough time. By the time it registered, it was gone. <laughs> it's just oh my gosh. crazy. Man. Hey, y'all, look. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, please. Click that bell when you want to be notified that we are dropping more videos. Okay. I want to thank y'all for tuning in for another episode of Now and Then. We've been your host today. I'm Isaiah. This is Willie J. Or Ike on the 808. Willie Harris Tat 1. You know you know us as different things. But we will always be the, the two brothers that bring y'all conflict and also creativity. So we're going to be here in the next one. I hope y'all are too. Thank you for joining us. Peace. Peace.